Hello and welcome to this week's Faith and Friends. The middle of July means vacations, gardens starting to bring harvest and school supplies in the stores, but never fear there's still lots of summer yet to enjoy, including several free summer concerts. One is coming up this weekend and we'll talk more about that in just a moment. There's lots of great concerts coming up in August, but before we get to all that, let's take a look to our scripture for the week, which goes along with our faith challenge topic of the month of July, following God's direction for your life, being obedient. And our scripture is Romans chapter 6, verses 15 through 18. Shall we sin because we are not under law but under grace? Certainly not. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one's slave whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness? But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that from of doctrine to which you were delivered. Delivered. We were delivered from the sinfulness that does not allow us to be obedient to God's direction. And yet we have that ability to right now turn from our past and say, at this point forward, God, I want to do what you hunt for me to do. You know, I think a very key point to that scripture is we are slaves to what we are obedient to. Mm -hmm. So whether we choose to be obedient to something worth obeying or not worth obeying, that's what's going to dictate our lives. So you make that choice to be obedient to God and then you can have that better path to choose. Well, what are you doing this coming Sunday? It's the perfect day for a drive to Westminster. Sunday, July 30th is Music at the Park, and this year's event will again be a fabulous, fun time for the entire family. Located at Westminster Park, 66, 68, 25 Faulkner Road, which is in Westminster. Now, if you Google it, you have to put in the address Herod, but it's in the village of Westminster. It starts at 11 a.m. and runs through 4 and will include the second annual car show. Cost for the event is free, and this year's slate of performers include Arnold Coy, Scott Stemmel, Three Bridges, Chris August, and Christian comedian Brad Brown. Now, Brad's an internationally known entertainer. He combines side-splitting <laughs> comedy and mind-blowing magic to engage and entertain audiences while clearly presenting gospel truth. Now, here's a sneak peek at what you can enjoy this coming Sunday at Music in the Park with comedian Brad Brown. Since we're talking about growing up, I thought I would, I've been thinking about growing up, not, not doing it, because that'd be crazy. <laughs> but I was thinking about what it means to grow up, and I thought I would help one of you with an important life decision, figuring out what you're going to be when you grow up. So I need somebody with who needs, <laughs> I will, ch I think, hmm. I, I, how about you, would you mind helping me out? Perfect, come on up here. Give him a big round of applause. Watch your step there, perfect. All right, come right over here. What's your name? Chase. Chase, all right, Chase. Do people ever ask you what you're gonna be when you grow up? No. Nope, people still ask me that question. <laughs> Apparently, magician is not a real job. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I, I made some choice, some options for you here, so these are some of the things you could choose to be when you grow up. Perhaps you would like to be a firefighter. All right, that's, he's, he's a firefighter, or was. All right. All right, all right, I have other options. Perhaps you'd like something else. Another way to help people is to be a doctor. Nope. Nope. <laughs> they used to make money. I'm not so sure anymore. All right, I have, I have, I have if you want to help people and aren't into the money thing, another option is teacher. That's a girl job. That's a girl <laughs> job. I believe, I believe there are a few girls in the audience who might want to talk to you afterwards. <laughs> if I were you, I would hide. All right. <laughs> all right. That's all right. If you're a little bit more adventurous, perhaps you could do another potentially girl job. Astronaut. No. All right. That's okay. I have another option for you. I have what may be the most important option of all. This could be the most important job, nay, the most important calling one could have on their lives. You could choose to be a magician. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, all right, here we go. All right, now I'm going to pick the one that I think he's going to be when he grows up. Don't tell him, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be one of these. Don't tell him. Maybe she's lying. You don't know. All right. I am going to put my prediction right there. I have another set of cards right here. I'm going to go through these one at a time. 
You can say stop whenever you like, and whichever one you end up on, that'll be the one you get. Choose wisely because this will be what you're going to be when you grow up. You have no choice. It's the way it works. All right. But you're not going to get to see it. You just see the back. But if they match, then that will prove that it's meant to be. So here we go. You could choose this one. Oh, let me do it this way so they can see, but you can't. You're just the one who needs to be surprised. You could choose this one. <laughs> or perhaps you'd prefer this one. <laughs> or this one. You can say stop at any time if you might like this one. Or keep going. This one. Stop. This one. Are you sure? Yeah. You sure? All right. Take it. Hug it really tight. Don't show anybody yet. Just hug it. I'll grab my prediction. Wouldn't it be amazing if they matched? I think so. All right, look, take a look. Don't show anybody yet, but peek at it and tell us really loud. What are you going to be when you grow up? A good person. That's nice. Um, uh, what's, what's the card say you're going to be when you grow up? Uh, just show everybody the card you chose. That's good. Um, how'd you do that? Yeah, I don't know either. But I think, I think there's a good chance he's right. I think he just might turn out, in fact, to be a good person. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have XTC. Give him a big round of applause. Be really careful on the stairs there. You know, the kind of person we are is even more important than the kind of job we have. You know, it, it, it's important whether you decide to be a doctor, a lawyer, or you know, whatever. But what's really important is the kind of person you are. But the truth is, we can't be good, not, not on our own. You know, we try to be good. Do you try to be good? I do. I still try to be good, and sometimes I can, sometimes not so much. But there's good news. Even though we can't be good on our own, God is willing to help us become the kind of people we were designed to be. And if we trust him, if we put him in charge of our lives, then we can become the kind of good people that he intended us to be. I get to travel all over the place doing magic, and there's something you may or may not have noticed about me. That is, I am just a little bit weird. Oh, you did notice. <laughs> I was trying to be subtle. Anyway, but that's okay, because weird is another way of saying special. Weird means there's nobody else on this entire planet who's exactly like me. And you can say, yes, that's probably true. But that's okay, because God had a plan that was just perfect for my weirdness. You know, my main job is not like doing office work and stuff. My main job is traveling all across the country, sometimes all around the world, acting silly and telling people about Jesus. It's like the best job in the world for me. And I have something I've noticed about you too. You all are just a little bit weird too. Some are a lot weird. <laughs> but, but that's okay. That just means you're special. That means there's nobody else like you. And just like God had a plan for me, God had a plan, has a plan that's just perfect for you. And that doesn't mean that life's going to get easy and nothing bad's ever going to happen or anything. But it does mean that if you follow God with all your heart, you can have the best, most amazing life you could possibly have. See, I was a church kid. I was in church pretty much every time the doors were open. And if the doors weren't open, I was probably there anyway because my dad was a deacon, and that's the way it worked. But I, I was a pretty good kid. You know, I, I didn't do anything really wrong. I was. Don't give me that look. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I wasn't... You know, one of the bad kids who did things. It's one of the good kids who didn't do things. So, so I thought I was, had it all together pretty much. Until one day when my pastor came and visited with me, and I realized that my life wasn't really as together as I thought it was. What I've got here is iodine. I'm using this because it's kind of nasty. It stains. If you get it on your hands, it doesn't come off. If I spill it on the stage, I've just bought myself a stage. But you know, even though I was a pretty good kid by comparison with other people, the truth is, you know, I, I told lies. I hadn't always obeyed my parents. You know, maybe I didn't do anything that was really wrong, but I still had disobeyed God. Like you've heard of the Ten Commandments, right? Things like lying and disobeying your parents and stealing, taking things we weren't supposed to. These, these are what the Bible calls sin. And if I were to be honest, even though I look good from the outside, on the inside, my life really was a mess. And like a lot of people, I thought, no problem. I can fix things up. All I have to do is do more good stuff, and it'll balance out. But of course, it doesn't really work that way. 
You know, once we've sinned, once we've messed up our lives, there's no way humanly possible to clean things up again, to fix things up. On our own, no amount of good stuff can make up for this. But the really cool part is we don't have to make up for it on our own. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came, Jesus who is God in human form, died on the cross to pay the price for our sin. So we don't have to clean ourselves up. In fact, we can't. So trying is pretty hopeless. All we have to do is do what I did. And that is invite God right into the middle of our mess, right into the middle of our messed up lives. And he'll take our mess of a life and begin cleaning us up from the inside out. Once again, Brad Brown will be live at Music in the Park this coming Sunday. This outdoor concert is free. It starts at 11 a.m. and runs through 4 p.m. Food, rides for the kids, or some, it may not be rides. Sometimes it's like uh, bouncy things. They have stuff there, uh, car show available. Just a great event. This year's lineup includes Scott Stimmel, Arnold Coy, the magician Brad Brown that you just saw, uh, Three Bridges, and Chris August. Again, the location is Westminster Park. 6825 Faulkner Road. Now, if you need to plug that into your GPS, use Herod as the uh, city for that. You can bring your lawn chairs. For more information, go to musicinthepark.info. Well, July is National Ice Cream Month, and in Lima, there is now one more ice cream opportunity to help celebrate this important holiday month. Today, Marky Chooks and Travis Monfort of the Marky Chooks Show introduces us to a brand new ice cream place. I checked it out last week. Lots of flavors, great food. You want to check it out yourself. It's Scoops Taste and See Ice Cream. What's up, y'all? This is your man of our town, Marky Chooks, with the Marky Chooks Show. Uh, we just out and about right now. Well, I ain't out and about. Travis is out and about. And he down at Scoops out on the south end on 4th Street, a newly opened ice cream stand. Heard they really got some, get some, some things going on down there. Travis, what's going on, baby? That's right, Marky. We're over here at Scoops, 126 East 4th Street. Write that down, Marky. 126 East 4th Street, uh, new ice cream shop. Uh, great owner, um, Miss Sylvia Clark. I know you guys are familiar with the name. Well, now she's stepping into the, the, uh, the ice cream business. So we're coming over here to check her out. Go ahead and swing the camera around, Mr. Cameron, so we can see what we're working with in here. Um, they've got over 20 different flavors of ice cream, over 20 different toppings, uh, just a lot of good things to choose from. But um, the lady of the hour we're going to talk to is Miss Sylvia Clark. Miss Clark, please tell the people, why such a beautiful, wonderful lady like you would start, a, <laughs> would start an ice cream shop up here in Lima? Well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> it's really uh, it, just something that really came about in a matter of uh, weeks. Mm -hmm. Uh, my husband and I uh, realized the building was here, and we like we always have liked the idea of bringing business uh, on the south side, and the idea that we could have a business that could hire some of the youth from this area that have a difficult time getting jobs in other areas, and I'm very proud to say we have probably about eight youth, mm -hmm. high school and college kids working here, mm -hmm. and they're a fantastic group, mm -hmm. and everything just kind of went from there. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve, who left out somewhere, <laughs> uh, we after uh, Coleman and I figured out what we wanted to do, we got with our good friends, Steve and Melina Robinson, mm -hmm. and we said, we're going to do this thing. And Steve and I went to a food event down at the Civic Center in February. We hit the road running after mm -hmm. that, hit the, hit the floor. Okay, talk about the uh, particular brand of ice cream you're using. Why is it that you decided to go with the uh, Hershey's brand ice cream? Steve and I went to a food show, and we tasted about four brands of ice cream. And Hershey's had the best flavor. Mm -hmm. It had the best taste. And when we started talking to friends and co-workers, we found that they too like the Hershey brand and it's not something you can buy in the store. Mm -hmm. So you got to come to us to get it. <laughs> okay, talk about just a few of the flavors you got here. I know we were talking about this, uh, this Superman one right here. I like, this looks interesting. So just tell them about this one. This, this is probably a very popular brand with the young ones. Mm -hmm. It's called Superman. It's very pretty. It's got all those pretty <laughs> colors in it. And uh, it's, it's, it's just a flavor that seems to be very popular with the young ones. Okay, so. and then you, you said you also have something for people that can't do the, 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 the lactose or the dairies or whatever. So uh, talk about the, the sherbets, what flavors you got with that. We have rainbow sherbet and orange sherbet. So if you have lactose issues or dairy issues, those are our two non-dairy products. 
Okay, now, now talk about some of the other items that you'll be serving because you're not just ice cream. You know, actually, let's, let's swing this way. Let's look and see. Here go the toppings right here so you can get all this put on your ice cream. Um, so now tell us about uh, some of the um, other items that you'll be serving. Uh, oh, okay, Melina's going to, okay. Okay, tell us, tell us about some of the other items that you guys are going to have um, other than just ice cream. Banana splits, mm -hmm. um, shakes, mm -hmm. slushes, um, and we also coming up with a Buckeye Sunday, which would be scoop specialty. Okay. And okay. What about food items? Um, hot dogs, mm -hmm. Joe dogs, mm -hmm. slaw dogs, um, sloppy joes, mm -hmm. barbecue beef, um, pork, mm -hmm. and shredded chicken, which is very popular. Okay. It's full. So we're full service. Here. And chips. And we're we working okay. on walking tacos. Walk tacos. And, um, how long do you uh, you plan on uh, keeping the, the shop open? Is uh, just seasonal, right? It is seasonal, and we will be open through the fall. Next year, we'll open in the spring and close in the fall, so it is seasonal. It is a typical ice cream place. And we have picnic tables on the other side, so come and enjoy your ice cream and sit at the picnic table if you want to just sit and chat. Okay, now what are your hours of operation? Um, and Yeah, what are your hours of operation? Monday through Saturday, we're open 11 to 8. On Sundays, we're open 12 to 8. Don't forget, come down to Scoops, get some ice cream, uh, get some hot dogs, chips, slushies. It's all down here. On the south side, give me the address again. 126 East 4th Street, okay. Lima, Ohio. 126 East 4th Street, Scoops. Come down. Marky, come on, man. Hey, on your lunch break. We're going to get a Facebook page, too. We're going to get a Facebook page. Um, um, hooked up, so give us about another couple of weeks. Okay, so be be on the lookout for that Scoops Facebook page as well, too. Hey, Marky, when you get done cutting hair, man, come on down here. Let's get some ice cream, man. So, hey, you guys all tell Marky peace. Peace, Marky. Peace, Marky. Peace, Marky. All right, then. All right, then. Uh, hi, how y'all doing, everybody? Uh, thanks. It's, it's cool. I, you know, I know Travis wasn't going to bring me, man, but you know what? I had somebody bring me something earlier today anyways, and I got me a little milkshake myself. You know what I'm saying? So, Try that strawberry milkshake, Marky say, when you go down there two scoops. Today we're responding to a request by viewer Jan Richards, who wrote to us requesting that we have a clean eating recipe on our food segment. What is clean eating? Well, in simple terms, it's eating foods in the most natural state where you found them. That means instead of going to the grocery store and buying that boxed item that you might find on the shelves, you're gonna buy the natural ingredients, spend a little extra time, put it together, and you will have a clean meal. And today, our clean eating recipe is taco salad in the jar. A natural We got the state. jars. We got the jars. I, I guess that, and it's clean jar. I would hope so. Arizona's a natural state, right? So we need to go to Arizona to get all of our food? That's the best guacamole I hear. Well, we're going to try our best here in, here in Ohio, and we're going to start out with our recipe by making the dressing. You know, even the dressings that you get in the store aren't always filled with the right kind of stuff. So we are going to make a creamy salsa dressing, which we're going to use as a top. All right, guys, here's what you need to do. All right. Mark, I want you to juice that lime. Alrighty. Andy, here is an avocado. As you can see, it looks dirty and yucky on the outside. That is a sign that it is ready to eat because take a look at the inside. Oh, wow. Beautiful green. And I nice suppose there's inside. a biblical lesson in that, that it can look I think yucky and gross on the outside. I have been wanting to write a devotional about that very well, same thing. the inside, that's what yes. matters. So I need you to take two tablespoons of that avocado and put it right here into our mixing bowl. Mark, when you've got the lime juice, go ahead and put that in oh, our mixing it's really bowl. Soft. Well, yeah, that's why you want to have the soft avocado when you purchase it from the store. That's why it's what ready, put in this? ready this? to go. Yep, put it right in there. Just two tablespoons of that. So we're putting in um, two tablespoons of ripe mashed avocado, juice of one lime, a quarter cup salsa. Go ahead and grab that salsa, and then two tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt. Oh, I thought that was sour cream. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It is Greek yogurt. This is the dressing that is optional that we're going to put on the top of our taco in a jar. Put the lid on here, and then... You're going to ninja it up? You go ahead. Just press the top. All right, there we go. Our dressing is done. Wow, that Set was the... quick and easy. We'll set that aside and we'll come back to that oh, a little bit later. 
Okay. Time now to assemble our taco salad in a jar. And here are the ingredients that we have. Fat, half a pound of ground turkey. Your sheet says turkey. skinny taco salad, I would like it to does. know. It does. I have removed the word skinny simply because we have chosen to use beef. And some people will say oh. that that adds more, more oh. fat in. Okay. But um, I think you can do this either with turkey or ground beef. So we've got beef. And then take a look. Instead of just going to the store and buying the packaged taco seasoning, we added in a teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and sea salt. And we just put all of those spices in, and you've got the items you need. Got some extra items as well. We've got three cups of romaine lettuce, half a cup tortilla chips broken up, half a cup of cheddar cheese, one cup of halved cherry tomatoes, and then we also have a half a cup of salsa. Okay, guys, so now we just simply need to assemble this. Took probably about 10 minutes time to actually get the ingredients ready. This is something you want to do ahead of time. You're going to use this for lunches, possibly for the next couple days. So you shouldn't do this for your home TV segment? Well, certainly you can do this at home too. Oh, okay. But if you need a healthy lunch on the go, this could be a healthy option for you. All right, guys, to so make your salad, first take the tortilla chips and divide them between the two jars. We're just going to layer things now. Do the chips get soggy when you put them at the bottom? Well, no, actually, because the lettuce is going oh, to protect them. Okay. See, Mark is, Mark is being a very giving person. Look, he gave you extra. More? Thank you, Mark. Well, what can I say? <laughs> All right, next lettuce? step, layer, oh, layer with half the cheese. Half the cheese. So this is cheddar cheese. Um, if you buy the taco seasoning cheese in the store, again, you never really know what kind of seasonings you're getting into it. Mm -hmm. So the more that you can pick things in the natural state, the better. Next, it's the lettuce. Half the lettuce goes in each of the jars. The guys did wash their hands. Don't worry, I made sure that they would because I told them they'd be handling the food. To answer your question, the lettuce is protecting the chips from is getting really? soggy. So here, do you need to use all the lettuce? Yep, you want to okay. put each, you want to do half the lettuce in there. Go ahead and stuff it down. You can get a lot of stuff in there. Um, lettuce, of course, contains a lot of a water. Candy. It's a low carb um, thing that you can eat. And this is romaine lettuce that we are using. How you doing, guys? Did you taste it already? The cheese. You did. Okay. Coming up next, it's time for the meat mixture. So half of the meat mixture what goes. What makes it a mixture? Did well, because we put the seasoning in it. Oh, the seasoning. I got you. I was yep. listening. You want me to pour it? Yes. <laughs> so as you can see, we, possibly you might want to have a funnel when you are doing this kind or of thing. Or wider jars. Well, those are wide mouth hands. jars. Pam's not going to be happy with me. Actually, what did I get? Messy. You've got a wide mouth jar. Maybe you don't have a wide mouth jar. All right. Push it on. There actually are devices that you can get that would, um, you can press things down. You can get kind of a masher that doesn't mash the food. So that's another option. Next, you need the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes on top. There you go. Thank you. Now you can see Mark is being, mm. Mark is not taking half. You don't have to. You can make this exactly the way that you'd like. Maybe you like more meat. Maybe you like more vegetables. Or less cherry tomatoes. Yeah, less cherry tomatoes. cherry tomatoes. That's true. Hey, this is perfect. So They're now making lunch for me. What about the salsa? Next will last? be the salsa and the avocado dressing. Yep, those are last. Because mm. if you think about it, do you want the wet stuff at the bottom next to the, cor the corn chips? I thought we were making guacamole. Not today. Would you guys like to see us make guacamole? We responded to Jan Richards' request for a clean recipe. Maybe you want to tell us what you'd like to see. Now we're adding that um, avocado dressing Creamy. on the top, which is an optional thing. Some people don't like the dressing. If you are trying to make it as healthful as possible, then the dressing might be the thing you're going to pull off. OK, guys, you want to put lids on. I guess I've got Thank you. That's awesome. seal it tightly. Put it in the refrigerator. It should stay good for a couple days, so you want to consume it within a couple days. But when you're ready, all you have to do is take your jar, dump it out. Don't you want to shake it up a little bit, get some of that nope. dressing all around it? Not uh -oh. yet. Uh, too late. Not yet. Not if you're, well, if you're going to eat it first, yes. But if you're going to wait for a couple days, leave it just the way it is. How many days can you unshake and how many days can you leave Only it Only about the two. Because of all the things inside of it, right. yeah, you, you once you, once the wet stuff gets down to the lettuce, you, you want to eat I that. I think the avocado is just one day. Well, that's just for guacamole. Well, avocado, it depends. You know, we've actually now changed the avocado a little bit because we've added things into oh, we it. Oh, we changed it. 
chemistry in the Chemical kitchen. change? Yeah, that's right. I thought there was no chemistry involved. This is all natural whole foods. Oh. This is godly chemistry. God designed it to work this way. Okay, so here so you go. Days. One to two days, when you're ready to eat this, all you have to do is get your bowl out, pour it into the bowl. You can't just go straight from the jar to your mouth? Well, Isn't you're that the natural state without using the dishes? Get an ice cream spoon. One of those we're going to we're gonna take pictures of the guys gulping it. down their skinny taco in a jar. It's a wide mouth, not skinny. Visit Science Central. See the Earth from space. Explore the states of matter. Touch a tornado. Science Central, providing fun, hands-on science for people of all ages. Spark your imagination. We got several tickets to that great science museum just close by in Fort Wayne Science Central. Just one of the things that will be up for bid at this year's TV44 auction. A couple other items. This table will be up for bid. In fact, you would not have recognized this table maybe a month ago. The, the donor restored it and has really made a very nice uh, piece of furniture. And these chairs will be up for auction as well. These are both recliners. And that chair has got a matching couch. It does. The couch is very comfortable. You could sleep on it. It's that big. But then at the H end, there are recliners. So it's a double reclining couch in great shape. You can drop off your auction donations right here at TV 44 at 1844 Beatty Road, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. This year's auction is September the 9th. Certainly hope to see you there. And we're almost out of time, but let's take one more look at this week's scripture. And uh, it's coming to us from Romans 6, 15 through 18. Shall we sin because we are not under law, but under grace? Certainly not. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness? But God be thanked that through you, though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you were delivered you were delivered. You know, we may be slaves to the, all the wrong stuff, but yet we can be delivered. We don't have to live there forever. New life is possible. Delivered through Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Thank you so much for joining us this week on Faith and Friends. We'll see you next